Let's get you up to speed now on some key economic data out today, excluding food and energy, the core PPI, which measures what companies get for their products essentially up 0.4%. That is hotter than the expected 0.2%. A 38% surge in wholesale vegetable prices helped push the food index up 3.3%, the same number by which energy costs declined. Now, the consumer price index is due out Tuesday morning, so we'll get a better glimpse. But we also got an update today on consumer confidence. The University of Michigan index rising to 59.1 from 56.8 in November, far better than the expected 53.3. Joining us now to discuss this and the state of the private equity market is Scott Sperling, Thomas H. Lee Partners co-CEO. Scott, nice to see you. Uh, let's talk nice about that economic you. data we got out this morning. If you're uh, the Fed chair, how do you look at it? I think you remain concerned about inflation as something that will uh, be more persistent than we like. Uh, we know that inflation is one of the more insidious problems in the economic sphere. Uh, people talk about the uh, toothpaste uh, getting out of that uh, tube and the impossibility of getting it back. I think when we look at the various elements of inflation, one has to continue to be concerned about wage push inflation, uh, about the fundamentals behind some of the key commodities and inputs into our economic activity, principally policies uh, in the United States having to do with um, with uh, not just the energy portion of oil and gas, but also the fact that those are major feedstocks for a lot of uh, uh, industrial products. So I think that there are fundamentals that one has to be concerned about. The thing that has been holding inflation back to some extent has been the fact that I think people anticipate a recession. Economic activity in many ways has slowed down in a number of sectors, and that is putting a little bit of a cap on it. How the Fed balances those two things, I think, will be really interesting. It may be that that the market's not wrong in the sense that the Fed will ease up uh, on the amount of um, uh, of interest rate increases that they do at, at each of the appropriate meetings to that 50 basis point next time, maybe to 25 basis points after that. But we may have these higher interest rates go a bit higher than the market's currently predicting, and they may sustain for longer than the market is currently predicting. Scott, when it comes to inflation, are you confident that we have seen peak inflation? Some of those stickier parts of inflation, how long do you think that is going to remain? I don't think we fully absorbed, the, again, the wage push inflation that we're seeing. Um, you know, you can look at some of the contracts, particularly some of the new union-based uh, uh, contracts uh, in transportation in particular, and um, those are reasonably high rates of increases. They may be justifiable given inflation of uh, the cost of everything, uh, but we should uh, not underestimate the um, impact that that will have on sustaining higher wage inflation rates. Um, the amount of spending that we'll see into things that increase productivity is going to be very important in terms of managing through some of these things. Labor shortages are still a big issue in a lot of different parts of our economy. Automation is going to be really important in helping to uh, close some of those gaps, particularly for uh, less attractive types of activities for humans. Um, and we're seeing a lot of that occur. Uh, but, um, you know, we're going to have to be really careful as we um, uh, manage through this. Uh, yeah. And again, the fundamentals of things like regulation tends to raise the cost of doing business. That has increased dramatically. And obviously the energy policy, uh, when we're talking about carbon-based uh, fuels, um, particularly in the United States, but also around other parts of the world, uh, may be problematic from that aspect. I know nothing gets you, get you out of bed, Scott, like an Elon Musk tweet. He just now says if the Fed raises rates again next week, the recession will be greatly amplified. Now, again, higher rates bad for Tesla. They're down 54% this year. Set that aside. Um, what do you think about a recession and about that prediction? Well, I think uh, there are very, very few people uh, at this point who are not predicting a recession sometime in the next 14 months. Uh, I think the most recent Economist survey, 100% um, of the economists are predicting that. Now, that may be the best 
news we can have because it's not likely that 100% of the economists are are technically right. But but nonetheless, um, let's assume that there's a recession. I'd also look to uh, you know a comment I think Larry Summers made that I don't know why we talk about soft uh, landings because we haven't had one. I think that's a paraphrase, but but I think that's actually accurate that we you know we we tend not to have soft landings. They're nice in concept, but but normally it's pretty rough. The question is duration. And the more we get ahead of inflation right now, I think the shorter the duration of the economic problems that we might have uh, will be. Uh, the markets probably still have another leg down or two. Um, there will be some corrections. There will also be some great buying opportunities there. Uh, I, I know that as we look at opportunity sets in the private markets, they're becoming increasingly um, attractive. Uh, there has been a major migration, as you know, uh, in our economic activity to the kinds of companies that have superior business models, uh, more reliable revenue streams, the, the so-called uh, annual recurring revenue type, type things, and business models that tend to do uh, better in economic downturns. Um, we are seeing more economic activity come back to the, to the United States, um, also back to Europe. Um, the nature of investment that we're going to be making in things like semiconductor are crucially important and will be a source of uh, economic stimulus. So I, I think if we can get inflation under control um, and we get through the next 12 to 18 months, then um, you know I would uh, hopefully uh, see a, 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 a strong uplift after that. All right, Scott Sperling, great to have you. We hope you ha to have you back here Thanks. on Yahoo Finance. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon.